as bleak as it feels now for Oakland A's fans, you know, we're still a long ways away from a shovel in the ground. Yeah. A vote in Nevada doesn't necessarily mean construction's ready to begin. It kind of feels like Giants 1992 when they were on their way to Tampa Bay, we thought until they weren't because a local group stepped up here. Yeah, and if you really look at this situation, it reminds me a lot of the Sacramento Kings situation mm -hmm. too. I remember broadcasters crying on the air. This was the last game in the history of the Sacramento Kings. Here they are, still in Sacramento, brand new sparkly arena. Things are going great. This situation could possibly be remedied if John Fisher decides to sell, do what the fans want, let a local group buy the rights to the A's. Then he takes that money to Las Vegas, uses that money to build an expansion baseball team, and the A's don't have to play in a temporary park. They could stay here in Oakland, and let John Fisher have all the time he needs to get Las Vegas baseball up and running. This is kind of diving into the fine print, but the bill that is going to be signed by the governor in Nevada does not mention the A's. It, it could be an expansion team. They are not in the bill. Yeah, this is a bill for Major League Baseball in Las Vegas, and up until a recent amendment, it didn't even specify a site. Right. So there was a lot of wiggle room in this deal. We'll see where that goes. All right, this is uh, kind of more of a, a Hail Mary here as I'm mixing metaphors in sports, <laughs> but a couple of local Congress members have talked about looking into baseball's antitrust exemption, and any time <laughs> the team owners hear uh, antitrust, oh no, uh, they get a little queasy. Yeah, and I think they do have a little bit of a reason to be queasy, because listen to this quote from Rob Manford very recently to the LA Times. The principal utility of the exemption is it allows us to be more aggressive than other leagues in terms of preventing franchise relocation. Mm -hmm. Ding, ding, ding. It's a fan-friendly doctrine in the law. Nothing about this current situation is fan-friendly, Larry Beal. Uh, definitely not in Oakland. To be continued.